Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven. This is Northwest Small Batch Brewing and uh, I had this thought and I thought I better make a video on this. So uh, before I kind of get started and explain where I'm coming from, uh, if you could take a moment to look down and do me a favor and uh, consider hitting the subscribe button if you're a fan of home brewing. Uh, anything to do with fermentation uh, hopefully you can take a look at my channel and see what's something you like and um, subscribing and clicking the little uh, bell icon so they get notified every time I put out a new video really helps keep me motivated to keep putting out new content all right let's uh, get a roll here so I got a gift card for my birthday recently and uh, I really like gift cards over cash because it means you have to get something. And it also means that I'm gonna probably get something maybe I wouldn't get for myself normally. And um, it'll be something fun, you know, in like a, so I'm, and I, what I usually like to get is something to do with home brewing. So something that I wouldn't normally necessarily get, but uh, if I have a gift card, you know, so, it got me thinking though when I got this item. So let me show you what I got. Why don't you? I can't see the camera. Hopefully you can see this. Uh, this is a tilt. Um, if you're not familiar with the tilt, basically um, there's another version that's similar to this that uh, Keglam makes called the pill. Um, but this is made, I think, here in the U.S. So it's a little easier to come by. Uh, I'm not going to pop it out, but basically it's this plastic sort of tube you drop into your fermenter and it pairs with your cell phone or tablet or um, uh, Raspberry Pi, whatever uh, you're using. And you can take hydrometer readings uh, and you can do these readings throughout your fermentation without having to open anything. You just, you know, connect with your Bluetooth to get an update. So... I got me thinking, how many people watch channels like this on, on home brewing and <coughs> excuse me, it's the natural it's the natural evolution that the longer you homebrew, the more you start to get more gadgets and stuff because um, you get to a point you're like, oh, I want to do you know something more with my home brewing. I, you know, the more you do it, the more you enjoy it. Um, the problem is I like to try to keep my channel simple, meaning I want people to be able to make beer as easily as possible with the least amount of equipment and not spending a fortune. And so I worry a little bit and I usually don't tell people when I get something like this uh, because usually I get it with a gift card or something, you know, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't normally just buy this, but I don't want people to think this is a, a necessary item. I guess. Um, this is gen kind of a generic video on um, homebrewing gadgets. So I, I just don't, I worry that if people watch a video and they see somebody with an easy dens or a tilt or something, uh, or like a, you know, I see, I've been seeing a lot of, um, uh, what do they call them? Like tri cone fermenters, you know, the big, like, uh, stainless steel fermenters that are on legs that have three legs and have a, a, a you know cone at the bottom to collect the yeast and have like a bazillion different ports and stuff listen I'm a huge fan of uh, uh, another YouTube channel homebrew for life um, CH I think I, I just like his his mentality which is you know keep it simple keep it cheap uh, you don't need all this stuff to make really good beer. And so I just worry if some of this stuff is showcased on a channel, is it inevitably suggesting that new home brewers who see your channel might think it's a requirement or something they need or they can't make good beer unless they have that particular item? Uh, or it just might, you know, give them. Um, fear of missing out or whatever you know right like that they, they are just upset because they don't have that item and they feel like they're not as good uh, as the person they're watching I just want to make it very clear you do not need all these gadgets you can ferment in a bucket that you get at Home Depot 
Um, you can build your own kegerator for super cheap. Well, I mean, compared to buying one commercially. Um, you can. You don't need a ton of stuff to make really good beer, and you don't need to spend a fortune. All these extra gadgets or fancy, you know, fermenters are more tools or just, you know, somebody who's been brewing for a long time and already has all the basic stuff, and they're just trying to push their game a little bit. So, for example, this tilt, you know, I've never had one before, and I guarantee you, you don't need this to make good beer. There's another thing that, that concerns me about gadgets, and that is that they're used for the wrong reasons. Uh, for example, this device, right? It can, it can constantly, I think every 15 minutes, if you really wanted to set it up, uh, it can um, send you updates and graph your gravity as your beer is fermenting. I uh, put a video out a while back um, about kvike yeast and fermenting quickly and having beer done quickly. And this makes me nervous that if someone sees this on a YouTube channel, this particular item, uh, they're going to think that they can use this to see exactly when their beer is done fermenting and then they can bottle or keg it right away and be drinking it way sooner. Uh, I just, I'm not going to say the channel name, and I don't even remember it off the top of my head, but there was a video that just came out, um, I mean, when I, around the time I, I'm making this video, and they said something like, it was some, it, I think it was a two-part video, and it had something to do with making beer faster than ever has been done before. I don't know, it was like 20, 24 hours, or 36 hours, or maybe, not, I don't even know, maybe not even that long. There's a really great YouTube channel, um, Sarah Flora. She's been around for a while. She has tons of, you know, subscribers. Uh, she made a statement a long time ago that I 100% agree with, and I follow to this day, which is that I don't want to drink a beer that's less than a month old. Just because a beer is done fermenting, right? You've done your finished your primary fermentation, does not mean it's ready to drink. Uh, your your yeast needs time to clean up all the off flavors. Remember, yeast is not just giving you alcohol and CO2. It's giving you all kinds of other stuff, other gases, other compounds that can make your beer not, you know, taste not so good. And it takes time for it to clean up. And basically what it does is it reabsorbs a lot of those off flavors that it put into your beer. So if you pull it sooner, you're gonna have a lot of off flavors. And yeah, sure, you can pressure ferment and that'll help suppress off flavors. And you, just, you can use kvike yeast to, at a really hot temperature to really uh, ferment your beer super fast. But do you really need to? I mean, are you in that bad a position that you, you need beer that bad? I mean, just go buy some at the store. Uh, why not take the time to make your homebrew the best beer it can be instead of trying to push out a product super fast. It doesn't make sense to me. To me, craft beer, there's no reason, there's no, like no place in my, in my position, in my, in my thoughts, that you need to make craft beer fast. I mean, I guess if you have any, an event coming up and you are making beer for the event, but I would personally tell that person, look, I'm sorry, but it takes time. You can't make beer ready in a week that's gonna taste good, you know? I don't know. I just don't get it. I don't understand. Maybe in the comments, someone can explain to me why you need to make beer in 24 hours or 36 hours. Why do you need it done that fast? Um, yeah, I don't get it. Set it and forget it. It's always been my mantra. Set it. Give it a give it a lot of time to reabsorb all the off flavors, and you'll be good to go. You know, there are other reasons to get this. You know, it can tell you when primary fermentation is done and then, you know, when you can add things like fruits and stuff. You know, you can know when you're at your peak fermentation and, and maybe you want to add certain things at certain times. But definitely is not for use just to, you know, to have your beer ready super fast. Anyway, sorry for the rant. I just want to make sure uh, that anyone watching my channel understands that 
you don't need all these gadgets and you probably won't see me using one actively because I try not to um, put a spotlight on these kinds of things. I might use one for my own, you know, uh, sanctification, but I try not to um, showcase that kind of stuff on my channel because it's just stuff that you don't need to make beer. It just gives it's stuff that gives you extra data and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, I hope that was helpful. Uh, anyway, if you're watching other channels, um, you know, watch with eyes wide open, I guess. I will see you in another week for another full video. And until then, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And uh, as always, keep on brewing. Bye now.